I'm happy to be back with another competitive character history video, but this one's a bit of a change of pace. One of Mortal Kombat's more obscure characters, and only made an official, fleshed out, no pun intended I guess, appearance in one game, but made their debut as one of the franchise's absolute weirdest and appropriately MK-themed hidden characters. MK fans will already know who this is by now, and of course, it's Meat, a skinless man who I guarantee has already demonetized this video before I even go anywhere, but in his mainstay appearance in Mortal Kombat Armageddon, he's actually got some interesting dirt and features as one of the game's more interesting additions. Believe it or not, Meat has some tech. He escaped Shang Tsung's flesh pits and features some of the weirdest moves any character has ever had. This is a competitive history and gameplay breakdown of Meat. So, before we dive into his fully realized appearance, we have to go back to where things began, which is Mortal Kombat 4. You had a variety of different select options on the player select in this game, and one of them was called Group. Now, if we select Group and then win a match with every single character, from that point onwards, any character you pick will appear as their skinless model. This model was called Meat by the dev team as a simple name the programmers can detect while swapping the models out for fatalities. But as is the nature of Mortal Kombat, constantly adding little unlocks all over the place, this group match completion allows that skinless model to play using the moves of the character that you just picked, and this would be the very first time Meat was playable in any capacity. It's just, he's not really Meat, he's the skinless model of the character you're playing as. It it is a secret and very true to form with Mortal Kombat and its hidden content. Meet and his true playable version as a standalone character would come many years later, in the final PlayStation 2 era 3D game, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Even then, it feels like Meat wouldn't really have been in the roster if not for the general theme of this game, which was to include basically every current Mortal Kombat character. Remember, this game had about 64 characters in it, so it was fair to assume he would make some kind of an appearance. But the thing is, he was still a character that you had to unlock and not in the base roster technically. A character most people would have completely overlooked in this game, but if you stop to learn him, he's actually really interesting and has some funny dirt. Something you need in this game to be considered remotely good as, like many old fighting games, Armageddon isn't the most balanced of fighters. Meat's got some of the strangest moves that just kind of exist in a gross and fleshy way, but mechanically, they are super strong. Here is a rundown of the lot. Special moves are as follows. Head roll is your basic projectile. It has quite a lot of startup and it involves Meat taking off his own head and rolling it. You won't use it much though, it is quite slow. Flesh Teleport repositions Meat and allows him to move really fast after doing it. Teleports in 3D Mortal Kombat that are mobility based are actually really strong because it can mess with the positioning of the other player. It's not like now where you can see the teleport and punish it, in these games your character needs to turn around so this kind of teleport is super annoying. Speaking of annoying, Meat Leg Slide is a fast, low slide attack. The greatest benefit is that it is pretty instant and it makes no noise, making this move difficult to react to. It's generally irritating and would serve a similar purpose to a Sub-Zero Slide, only this one is more deceiving because of its lack of sound effect. And at last, Meat has a taunt that heals him for decent damage. It's just... Yeah, he kind of pings his eye out and it's kind of gross, but it's good! Starting with hand-to-hand, -hand, Meat's fighting style is wrestling, something that belonged to Su Hao in Deadly Alliance, and is the way with newer 3D characters in Armageddon, he doesn't have a lot of moves. Barely any, really, but the ones that he has work very well together. Standing one is a command grab that splats. Back one is another grab that side switches. Forward 1 is a low, and it launches on hit for a full combo. All three of his low pokes in down 1, down 3, and down 4 actually have pretty fast recovery, which is somewhat rare in these games, so they're definitely not terrible. Up 3 is a highly exaggerated launcher, but it's super slow, so not that useful. String-wise, it's his 2-2. Two -two. That's basically it. It has extensions, but it all lies in this one string. 
222 knocks down and is great for setting up a standing one command grab afterwards, for reasons I'll explain later. 224 is a basic ender and not really that worth using. The biggest ender here is the launcher into weapon, which is 2-2 stance change. This recovers mad fast and it launches and tracks super well. His weapon stance is extremely powerful and speaking of which, Meat's weapon is the Meat Cleavers. They act very similar to Su Hao's Sun Moon or Kano's Butterfly Knives. Back 1 Back 2 is a high damaging ender and is a nice way to end combos. 1 1 2 is a basic 3 hit ender. Down 1, Down 3, Down 4 and Back 4 are all decent pokes with the cleavers in hand. Quite useful to have fast options like these with a weapon. Standing 3 is a fast mid, a very cheeky check for people trying to block low. Back 3 is that fast launcher but stand alone. Up 3 is a high head stab. 1-3 simply combines both standing buttons for a 2 hit string. 1-1-3 one, one, ends in the face stab. Finally, 1-1-4 one, one, ends in a kick. The general idea of weapon is that back 1 back 2 is a damaging and fantastic ender. The drawback is not a lot of these 3 hit combos are that useful due to general unsafe properties, common problems that a lot of strings in these type of MK games actually have. The greatest benefit mechanically is that Meat's air combat set in Meat Cleaver is the easiest set for repping air infinites. Execution is dead simple and after any launch, Meat Cleaver air infinite is more than likely, or just using one or two reps of the infinite depending on community rules to land huge damage anyway. The reps can still allow for a 2-2-2 two, two, two in hand to hand ender which can set up for grabs after. A lot of this stuff is pretty tame looking, right? But I said this character has some dirt. Here's the thing. A lot of grabs in MK Armageddon were made unblockable. That includes Meat Standing 1 Body Slam. It doesn't look like much on face value, but the grab itself does 20% damage and it has a consistent knockdown. Mid-screen after the grab, there's a good amount of distance between the two players, right? But you'll notice that in the corner, there is considerably less distance put between you and the other player. What this means is that should the opponent not have a breaker to break the second they're touched, Meat's standing one grab becomes pretty much an infinite if their back is to the wall. I know it doesn't even look like it should, but this game doesn't have wake up attacks, and even though you can stay grounded after most knockdowns, this body slam doesn't allow you to stay grounded, neither does hand to hand 222. If you can't stay on the ground, this meaty grab will chew you up and meat wins. Stay out of the corner at all costs, you have to do it. Secondly, there is an annoying but pretty unseeable mix up between his fast weapon 3 mid and his hand to hand forward 1 low. The low launches and the mid knocks down and gives him good damage. You can mix these two up to really chew through the enemy breaker count, which they only have 3 by the way and once they're out of breaker, any launch is an infinite or a corner grab infinite they can't break. 2-2 two, two stance change is an amazing tracking launcher giving him good pokes, a bit more safety than most characters, grab mix ups and the cherry on top being an annoying teleport that sticks you in place if you're grounded, as teleports are really really annoying in this game. You're left with a character that's pretty damn good and not complicated to play at all. You could really learn this character in an afternoon really if you just know what buttons to use and which ones to avoid. Remember as I've said in the past about Armageddon, it's about finding a character's best moves and making an entire playstyle around them. It's enough to work with and Meat has a few more options than most characters. Not bad for an extra unlockable character. Also, fun fact, Mustard is a Cyrax main in every Mortal Kombat game, but in Armageddon, he plays meat more than anybody else, because of the cheapness really, and I still, to this day, have not been able to consistently take games off this character. Bad times indeed. Well, that does conclude our journey with meat today. From a model swap in Mortal Kombat 4 to a fully realized character unlocked in Armageddon. As far as secret and extremely niche Mortal Kombat characters go, Meat is actually one that's not really that looked down upon, and if it wasn't for his Armageddon appearance, and the Mortal Kombat team turning him into an actual legit character with a backstory and a, while disgusting, 
interesting move list, I don't think he'd be that memorable either, but for now, he's a cool little weird character in an ever-growing universe of fighters. Thanks for sticking around, and if you like this kind of content, there is always more in the pipeline. For my next installment, things are gonna get a bit windy. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.